So I'm just finishing off all my solar dye pots. There's some that are complete there that are already starting. I'm just weighing out some cochineal. These are very strong, so you don't need much. And they're going in near the top, like that. In all of these. So these have already got um, logwood in the bottom and then Persian berries and then the cochineal and then they are going to be topped up with indigo and then some um, mordant. Topping up the jars now with some mordant and water. There we go. And the yarn in there's dry, so the water will sink down a bit because the wool will absorb the mordant and the water. And the mordant is seven percent alum and 8% cream of tartar and that acts as a bridge to help the dye and the yarn grip together. Just finish topping up these here. And the dye stuff in the pots is dry as well so it is activated by the water. And in a minute you'll see the colour start to bloom. Okay. So there you can see all the colour starting to bloom into the yarn. There's another one. That's the cochineal beetles. There's the Persian berries. And down the bottom is the logwood in that little muslin bag there. So now I'm going to be using some indigo. And it's a tincture I get from Helen Melvin at Fiery Phelps. Um, and we have a dessert spoonful. And it's literally poured down the side like that. Isn't that fab? Look at that. Amazing. This is nearly the best bit, I think. And then once these are done, they're going to go onto the window ledge. And just being in the sun and the UV light is enough to fix the dye to the yarn. So close them up, don't shake them, they do all the work themselves. They can join their friends. I got finished yesterday. There they are. And they'll stay there until towards the end of the summer. And I'm planning to take them out probably the middle of August. And those particular yarns are going to be available at the Southern Wool Show, Newbury, Bank Holiday Weekend. These are the last two, all done. I've got 
12 in total. I'm going to do two rows on my window ledge, but I think they'll be all right. There we are. And these are the ones I did yesterday, and then these are the ones today. So you can see how the colour is already spreading all the way through and the colours will mix so that red there when the blue comes round will become sort of rich purple but there'll still be areas of all blue, areas of all pink. The Persian berries give a sort of fudgy yellow colour and um, it'll just be a really really nice mixture. So keep watching and later on in the summer I shall show you them coming out of the sink all lovely and washed and clean and ready to dry on the line. I'm just rolling up the wool now and trapping the daffodils before I pop it in the jar, a bit of a squeeze, and then it's going to be left in the jar, just, oh gosh, just solar dye for about three months. There we are. Just put a few more daffodils in the top, just for good measure. Lovely Cornish gold daffodils. And then I'm going to top it up with water and leave it to infuse on the window ledge in the sun for a couple of months. And see what happens. This is a real experiment. I have no idea how this is going to work. But it's a bit of fun. There we go. Right. Good luck. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah.